guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I just felt like throwing it on because this is a two for one video that I've been filming. I got this from my FabFitFun, looks very nice. I've never used it since last fall, like it's time for me to use it, but we've never gone out and there was no reason to wear this. So I'm using it for filming. <laughs> okay, today is all about skincare empties skincare and body empties let's go ahead and get started i promise you a part two if you guys haven't seen my makeup empties of 2020 definitely check it out this is part two skincare empties of 2020 what are worth purchasing what am i gonna say goodbye to first item here this is the murad essential c cleanser and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, highly recommend it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're that type, no fuss skincare, definitely get this. Uh, it's just a cleanser with vitamin C in one and it is so good, so good at brightening your face. My son actually used this mostly and I saw a big difference in the lightening and brightening of his face, especially from being in the swim team and all. So highly, highly recommend this. Okay, next item, the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity lifelong serum i have a video of this i'll put it up here if i can find it it's an anti-aging serum i was given this by influencer and thank you so much for sending this to me and now i have another one waiting to be reviewed i can't believe they sent me a 60 dollar bottle but bare minerals great brand and this is one of their best-selling serums, so definitely check it out. Kate Somerville Goat Milk. Who has this? Who likes it? Because I don't. Um, <laughs> I hate it so much that I don't want to use up the bottle. I got it December of 2019 in my FabFitFun box, and I was so excited. But when I tried it, this is a moisturizer. It's supposed to be super moisturizing, but it's super sticky. I hate how it leaves my skin feeling. Every time I touched it, it felt sticky, and it didn't even feel that hydrating. So, pass. This is Very Clean Pharmacy, which I got from my BoxyCharm box. It looks like this so good smells like cherries it's clean beauty from sephora and this is a cleansing balm now since i'm gone i recently hauled the clinique cleansing balm from ulta during their love your skin event so if you want to see what i got watch this video right here put it up in the cards definitely check it out not too too impressed with this one definitely the clinique take the day off balm is a much better more powerful ingredient when it comes to taking away makeup. It's more powerful, but more gentle, I feel like. It's not bad though, it's just not my favorite. Next item is a hair, of course, right? Okay, there are very few hair products that leave my hair feeling volumized and thick and full, and that's what we all want, right? My hair is so straight and blah basically this is a game changer for me um, ogx biotin and collagen shampoo anything with biotin um, is definitely going to help boost that volume on your hair and so i love to use this whenever i have a special place to go i love to use the shampoo and their conditioner is not bad as well but mostly i just get their shampoo because i use whatever conditioner i'm not a hair person <laughs> But I try to be, like I try to take care of my hair. If you have flat, thin hair, you need this in your life. Okay, the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. This is another goodie that I got from my BoxyCharm box. Did I tell you how much I love BoxyCharm? I really do. I, I pause it every other month, not because I'm not happy with it, but I love everything that I get. It's just so much value for what you pay for i love the scent now i don't know if it did any resurfacing on me it has 60 pads in here you do feel some kind of tingling but it's very gentle i love it on my skin and i love the scent that it gives without being overpowering highly recommend this if you can afford it go for it <laughs> i can't but i would definitely try my best to repurchase this again skin iceland solutions for stressed skin brightening eye serum 
Okay, uh, pass. <laughs> it's an expensive brand, but it hasn't wowed me. And it was a little sticky for the under eye, so I wasn't excited for that. Okay, I need to warn you guys, stay away from the Koparis. <laughs> Not really. I mean, Kopari is a good brand. It's an all-natural brand. Um, this is the CBD Extra Strength Deodorant. I'm looking for a more all-natural, aluminum-free deodorant that's going to keep the odors away and also keep me dry and not sweaty. This was good in the beginning. I think this would be great as a winter deodorant. But look what happened after a while. It just, it had a really nice shape to it, but it just kind of disintegrated on me. Like it lost the shape and it just broke down into this. I got this during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, I believe. And so it was worth trying. They have different kinds of Kopari deodorants. Um, the green one is what you need to get. I think this is the most powerful one. The other ones don't do crap. CBD all hyped up ingredients i don't know much about it yet but um definitely worth trying but it's not my favorite next one is my mario badescu drying lotion and this is the glass pink bottle whoa this is some powerful stuff especially if you apply it at the perfect time where your acne is just starting it's going to heal itself almost overnight so i really really love this you have to use this at night otherwise you'll have like pink dots all over your face and i like to use this overnight but you can also rinse it off after 15 minutes this is a good one we are almost done and all i got are little samples that i want to give a heads up on because they're that good or maybe not good. <laughs> this is the L'Occitane. It's a gel cream for the hands. Very moisturizing, very hydrating. It has that kind of um, soothing muscle effect. So if you research the Verbena line from L'Occitane, you have aching feet, aching muscles. This is the line for you. So I highly recommend this one. Next one, I got two Drunk Elephant Body Cleanser and the other is Body Lotion. So more recently, Drunk Elephant came out with their um, body line more than just the face, but all over body. And I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed for the price. The body lotion doesn't do crap for me. It's not hydrating enough, at least for the winter time. We have cracked ugly crocodile skin during the winter time and this didn't do anything for me the cleanser one is you know what my bad i don't think i've ever used the cleanser one <laughs> last one is an uh, oldie but a goodie or origins checks and bounces frothy face wash and i really really love this because it has that minty sensation that it gives to your face when you're cleansing so i love it and it's such a light cleanser but it's also good at cleaning and cleansing your face so if this ever goes on sale in a bigger bottle i would definitely repurchase love the feeling of this on my skin that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video those are all of my skincare empties i could do a part three and four if you'd like i still have some under my table yeah <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up definitely subscribe join the family i post videos once a week maybe twice a week on skincare and beauty reviews so definitely check that out my recent review on elf foundation is already up on my channel with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye